this week. The 50 Trails in 50 Weeks continues, and this time I'm packing up the side-by-side and headed to Left Hand Call It Loop. Then, Reese and Marianne Stein are showing us how one growing town is dedicated to preserving its wildest places as they take us to one of the many trails in Scottsdale, Arizona. Finally, Nick Chase is taking to the skies to show off some amazing beauty as he visits the 2021 Balloons and Tunes Canab Balloon Festival. We're roaring and soaring this week on At Your Leisure. It is a place where the Old West meets the New West. Hi everybody, welcome to At Your Leisure, I'm Chad Booth, and we are counting down our 50 trails in 50 weeks, and I am pleased to be out here with Dana Lindsay from Escalante, or Escalante, never say Escalante, and, I, and our official At Your Leisure tail gunner, uh, Brett Hermanson from Van Gogh's Auto Body. Thanks guys for joining me today. Thank you. Yeah. You're not as cute as Rhea, but you know, you're okay. <laughs> we are on a, uh, on a loop that takes you to Call It Top, and it's about a 70 mile loop, and it goes right out of Escalante and comes up here and swings around and goes back. And it is an awesome sight. There are so many things to see out here, like genuine, uh, I mean, this is a, this is a cattle wrangler. Um, line shack and it's been here for years. I, I first crossed this road about 35 years ago and it was here then. So uh, it's it's awesome. You come up here quite a bit, right? I do, yeah. I've, uh, you know, last 10 or 12 years we come up here several times a year. Yeah, you guys are so lucky to live right right in the gateway to so many great opportunities. Yeah. Yeah. You had fun? This is a blast. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a good time. Well, Me and June. <laughs> yeah, you and June. <laughs> you don't know what we've uh, been up to today, so let's find out. It's a loop that starts right in Escalante. You come up through the Cedar Wash Road and you hit the Hole in the Rock Road. And uh, the part that we just came through that was the most exciting is we came up left hand Collet and we're up on what is uh, the Collet Top now. There's a lot of different things to see. It's the rock formations, the, you know, different things. It's just, there's so much to see. It's, I'm catching a little bit. I'm gonna have to come back a couple of times to, I'm sure to see it all. And a lot of these trails in Utah, I've been on the Paiute Trail for over 20 years. And every time we go up there, we find a new trail. Just like I'm sure this place is the same thing. Every time you come up, you're gonna find something new. Oh, this is beautiful going up through this canyon. I love this. This, this is the kind of ride I like. This spot is incredible. This is actually one of my favorite spots in the whole world. It has little bits of the Old West in it, and, and uh, if you look real close, you can see uh, traces of uh, the ancient Americans that were here, and yeah, it's an incredible place. I thought I was done. I thought I'd bought it. Okay. <laughs> That side slide was just not quite what I was anticipating. This is great. I love this. This is pretty neat. This ice rink stuff is pretty interesting. When you take the call it top loop, as a day adventure, one thing you're gonna to want to do for sure is give yourself plenty of time to stop, pay attention, and get a map from the uh, 
any of the outfitters in town so you can see what's up here because they will mark where some of these things are. You could drive right by this and miss it. It's an Anasazi era uh, granary here and it's, and it's beautiful. It's well intact. And here's the rule, look but don't touch. Leave it for the next guy. Leave it for your grandkids, for somebody else so that they enjoy it. So just enjoy it by looking at it and knowing that you were there. Well, we'll continue our adventure on the Call It Top Loop, but right now, it's time for you to go to this week's Where To. I'm Ray Stein, at your leisure, on one of the many trails in the foothills of Scottsdale, Arizona, a rapidly growing city, but still dedicated to protecting a lot of its wild places while providing for a healthy outdoors lifestyle. Thirty years ago, a handful of Scottsdale nature lovers, dismayed as they saw homes and resorts gobble up their beloved desert, organized a defense which today has grown to become America's largest urban nature preserve. The McDowell Sonoran Preserve covers 30,000 acres, larger than Antelope Island in the Great Salt Lake. In just the last 15 years, some 225 miles of shared use trails for hiking, mountain biking, and horseback riding have been developed. I'm really impressed. I'm impressed by their trail system, that, that they keep it so well. It, it's so well maintained. It's clean. There's no debris around. Sun seekers like Tom and Cheryl have escaped winter back home in Ohio to enjoy the Whiskey Bottle Loop Trail in the preserve's southern region. Trails are really nice here. Easy for us older people, I guess. And you don't have, you don't have critters like this in Ohio, I bet. <laughs> no, no, not at all. This newest trail complex was completed just two years ago and features a unique natural metal building at the trailhead with restrooms, information kiosks, plenty of maps, and fantastic vistas. The five and a half mile Whiskey Bottle Turpentine Black Hills Trails Loop winds through forests of spiny buckhorn choya cactus and strangely tilted but aptly named Compass Barrel Cactus. Why is the Compass Barrel Cactus listing to the right? It's because it grows faster on the shady side, pushing the top to the south. The nearby and equally new Granite Mountain Complex offers dozens of trails, including loops and connectors through miles of huge saguaro cactus, the tallest of the cacti, towering over 40 feet high, at least one featuring an unusual top. Families explore large granite boulders around the rim of Granite Mountain. We did a short five mile in and out to massive balanced rock looking like an 80-foot-tall wisdom tooth ready to be yanked. It would take more than a few dentists to topple this giant. Mike and Kate have come from nearby Gilbert, Arizona to exercise their pooch. Dogs are allowed on leash in the preserve. It's been great. Um, you know, it's an easy walk, easy hike, and there's a lot to see, a ton of cactus, um, some cool rock formations as well, and um, nice in and out. And, get away from all the noise. I like that they're close. They're not, they're pretty quick drives and we can find really tough hikes or we can find nice easy ones for the pup. This trail is gentle and smooth, designed especially for mountain bikes. It's pretty easy. Uh, it's not very technical, but it's very flowy and pretty fun to ride, I would say. The Gateway Loop Trail is the busiest. This five and a half mile route climbs through groves of saguaro, barrel, and choya cactus with healthy stands of hedgehog cactus glowing in the Arizona sun. The trail tops out at Gateway Saddle, then drops down the other side to the trailhead, completing the loop. Here, a half mile accessible nature trail depicts the wonders of the Sonoran Desert. I had no idea of the variety of trails, the many things we could do, the great information that's on them, all the plants we would see, and it's, it's really an easy place to hike and get information on. Reese Dine with this week's Where To Adventure at the McDowell Sonoran Preserve in Scottsdale, Arizona. The Beaver County Trails Jamboree is back for 2021. Join us for four nights and three days of riding, exploring, and delicious food May 11th through the 14th. 
explore Beaver County from the Frisco Kilns to the Mineral Mountains while shaking winter off and making new friends along the way. Register online and join us this spring for the Beaver County Trails Jamboree. This will be an outdoor event to accommodate the current situation. We'll see you soon. Yes, the great outdoors is wide open. So why not make the most of it? Expand your family's freedom with the off-road's best. Like the only built-in GPS that doesn't require a cell connection. And group tracking that lets you spread out and stay together. Upgrade your ride for as little as $5 a day. Polaris, think outside. Sick of staying home? Getting outside and exploring great open spaces is now more important than ever. Spend your summer exploring Tula Valley, where there is so much, so close. Plan your escape now at TulaValley.org. The Old West is still alive in Jueb County. Stories of the past are hidden in the desert mountains. From relics of mining history to places of outlaw mystery, tall tales to be discovered and buried treasure to be uncovered. Jueb, the key county of Utah. Hey everybody, welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Scott Huntsman. I'm at my two next shop in South Jordan. This is what's new this week. What we're going to do is we're going to install a Pioneer double DIN touchscreen app radio. The app radio is cool because it utilizes your phone for maps. There's no software to update. It's really cool. We're going to install it. Let's go take a look at all the parts we're going to put in this today. Okay guys, so here's what we're going to install into this. This Pioneer unit, it's a double DIN, it's a touch screen radio, and Pioneer is a top quality name. I still have yet in 30 years uh, seen one of these that ever goes bad, beyond the fact of a poor installation, and that's why we're gonna do it today, and we're gonna do a good installation with good wiring. Uh, that, I have the vehicle harness, uh, the radio harness, we have the antenna adapter, and then I also have the dash bezel that will allow that radio to fit right into this opening. The original one from the factory is just too small and this adapts it so that we can put this radio in. Let's get started, let's get it going. All right guys, you know, getting the original radio out of this isn't really a lot. It's just a matter of just getting the gear shift out of the way. I pull this original bezel and work it out. I'll drop the steering wheel a bit. That comes out, and this one just has a couple of release tabs. Just like that, I disconnect the antenna and the factory harness. There it is right there, it's out. Okay guys, this is the most tedious part of this project, and what this is is I am soldering the factory harness adapter to the radio harness. Now, the reason we solder these connections is that gives you the best connection. I'm also using heat shrink, and I'm gonna heat shrink over every single soldered connection. So this takes a few minutes, but when you make your solder connections, you want it really to solder well and the, the, the solder to flow, always with a rosin core solder. Very last step, I've made all my electrical connections to the back of the unit. We installed the GPS antenna, the microphone for the hands-free, the USB cable, we have the antenna adapter for the radio antenna and our electrical connections, including the amp connection to power up the amp, the factory amp. So everything is all set. I've mounted the brackets onto the head unit. We'll just scoot this in. This part of it is not too bad. Once everything is just in place, that just goes in and snaps in. You heard that go click, then, I've got my new bezel that fits in carefully. This is really clean. It turned out so well. Now we've got Bluetooth. 
hands-free calling, navigation and guidance. We've got all those things at our fingertips. It's wonderful. If you're interested in one of these, hey, come and see us here at Two Next, South Jordan, West Valley. We install these products. We know how to wire them properly, so it'll last a good long time. Hey, I'm Scott Huntsman. More at your leisure in a moment. Hey, babe, I'll be right back. You all right? I don't know. He only does this when we come to Jorgensen's. Hey, honey, have you seen this tire? Do you think we'll make it? Not on that thing. Don't let bad tires ruin your trip. With service stations at every location along I-15, we can get you back on the road with fast, friendly, professional service. Eagle's Landing has everything you need along the way. Even the things you didn't know you'd need. Get ready for the road at Eagle's Landing. My daughter and I had just finished a run at this place called Eagle Point. It's this really cool but kind of challenging ski resort that has a real family feel to it. She was so excited because she beat me down the run. Deja vu. I saw myself as a kid out skiing my mom. It was a big moment for me. And all of a sudden it hit me. I was making the same memories for her. Make Marysvale your hub for adventure. Nestled in the Tusher Mountains with direct access to the Bayou Trail. Explore history from Miner's Park to Butch Cassidy's Cabin while blazing trails from mountain peaks to the shores of Otter Creek. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. You know, every base camp has a hub of activity and the Phillips 66 right in the middle of Escalant is the hub of activity. I mean, they've got groceries, they've got goodies, and they've got all the local gossip. You can pick any kind of lodging you want here in Escalant or Escalante, depends upon what end of town you're from. And uh, they run from rustic cabins to really nice hotels and lodges and everything in between. There are even a bevy of bed and breakfasts that you can check out. Now, for food, there are about five or six dining opportunities here, and it starts with a really good burger you can get in the season at Nemo's. There's also the Lodge at the far end of town, which is one of the nicer hotels, probably the nicest here, and they've got a restaurant. You should try out the pizzas at the Outfitters, and the pub is a pretty good place as well. There's also a food truck called Georgie's. So for a small town, they've got a little sampling of just all kinds of dining. If you're looking for groceries, you've got two choices in Escalante. Uh, there's one that's a little more trendy and there's one that's pretty old and nostalgic. Any direction you're headed before you leave town, you'll be able to get gas. There's gas at the 66 in center of town. Headed east, there's the Sinclair. Headed west, there's a little hardware store that is a cute place to shop for gifts that also has gas. One of the things you want to do while you're at base camp is get out and walk around Escalante because they've got all kinds of historical houses. It gives you a real connection with the pioneer heritage of the town. You can enjoy the architecture and be respectful that you're in people's neighborhoods. Keep the noise down. And if you want to know what the story is behind the houses, you can stop here at the People's Exchange and pick up a free historical map of town that has all the information that you need about these interesting homes. Of course, while you're exploring your base camp, reserve a little bit of time to come up here to the Hole in the Rock Heritage Center. It's an interpretive museum of sorts that will tell you a little bit about the history of how this area was settled. It'll kind of bring everything into context for you.
Well, we're going to move ahead with our agenda here on At Your Leisure. It's time for our Along the Way. The wonder surrounding hot air balloons seems to mystify just about everyone. The stunning image of massive objects simply floating in the sky is as amazing as it is whimsical. For many, seeing these up close and personal might be a once in a lifetime experience, but if you know the right places to go, you can enjoy them year after year. Several Utah towns hold balloon festivals throughout the year, and one of the best is Balloons and Tunes in Kanab. You know, where else can I fly up against red rocks? Uh, some of my favorite pictures that I share with people, you know, where do you, they say, where do you like to fly? And I pull out pictures from Kanab all the time. The environment, the surroundings is, is absolutely gorgeous. You could, pictures don't do it justice. I mean, pictures are great, but in a balloon was even more phenomenal. I mean, it's, this is a step right here, but if you get a chance to come at the air in Kanab, I highly recommend it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Not only do you have the pleasure of seeing balloons in contrast with the red, rugged cliffs, but you can also get within an arm's reach of them before they ascend to the sky. When you come to the Kanab balloon event, you can get right up next to the balloons. So you can actually talk with the pilots, talk with the crew, even pitch a hand in and help. Uh, you get to ask questions of them before they take off. Uh, some awesome photos can be taken of you and your family all around the balloons. Um, and if you're fortunate enough, they might let you sand inside a balloon and get a picture inside a basket. With Kim and her husband Dave's decades of experience as balloon pilots, they serve as a great representation on how knowledgeable the community is. So everybody knows that we're flying because heat rises. Um, that's actually a misnomer. We have 105,000 cubic feet up there being trapped by that fabric. And then when we apply the heat, it makes that all that air get excited and it expands and that's what makes us lift. So as we fly along, we have to keep replenishing that heat. After learning something new and getting to enjoy the balloons, there's also the rest of Kanab to discover, enjoy, and complete your experience. Anybody that loves the outdoors would love hot air ballooning because we're out early in the morning, we're done early in the day. So if we, for example, here in Utah, we're done flying and now we'll gather together, see friends we haven't seen from other states. But later on today, we're gonna go hiking, we're gonna go trail riding, we're gonna have fun, we're gonna enjoy what the community has brought to us. It's, it's a great place to come fly. At the end of the day, being stuck in a wicker basket suspended in the air creates memories that last long after the balloon touches down. But all the hard labor that goes into it will make your relationships last a lifetime. <laughs> that, that's how we get the air out of the balloon at the end of the morning. Turn around, Kim. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna be all 38 over. years married, that's how you do it. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled for next year's event in Kanab if the side of balloons against the Red Rock is what you want to see. But if you can't wait until then, there are several other balloon festivals spread throughout the year, including the Panguitch Valley Balloon Rally in June and Vernal Soar Days in late August. Visit our website for more information to catch a glimpse of these majestic flying machines and enjoy the atmosphere in more than one way. For this week's Along the Way and at Your Leisure, I'm Nick Chase. Isn't it time to slow down? To enjoy the view to get some space, and to social distance. There's no better place to be than on the trails. Visit TooilaCountyTrails.com for your next adventure. Reason number five to spend the night in Duchesne County. Enjoy an evening in the countryside with a stay at the Mountain Home Lodge Bed and Breakfast. That's the perfect base camp for all your mountain adventures. Just a short drive from the Yellowstone ATV trailhead and surrounded by world-class fishing that really gets you away from it all. Discover all the other reasons to spend the night in Duchesne County at uintabasin.org. Coming down into the little valley and stuff, you can look over the whole thing. For me, I can just feel the, the stress just kind of melt away. 
There's so many trails to go up on and, and we explore. The desert and then you've got the lake, you got the mountains. It's just a little bit of everything. It's a little piece of paradise out here. Pretty much anybody that I've brought up here, they will ask, can we come back? At Stedman's Recreation, trucks are arriving daily with back-ordered side-by-sides, ATVs, and dirt bikes. Let Stedman's Recreation help get you outside so you can explore and create memories to last a lifetime. Call or stop by Stedman's to hold your side-by-side, -side, ATV, or dirt bike with a small deposit. Yamaha, Honda, Polaris, and Beta. Plus, Stedman's has a full service department and Honda power equipment. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are on the Call It Top Loop. Now, if you want to get to our base camp, Escalante, it's on Highway 12. You can get to it from Panguage, Utah, to the south and e uh, west, and you can get to it, to it from Torrey, Utah, from the north and the east. Beautiful drive, and Call It Top Loop takes off of Center Street, and it goes to the south. Now, let's take a look and find out what's happening in our Trail of the Week. This week's Trail of the Week is the Hard Scrabble OHV Trails. The Hard Scrabble Trails are located in Washington County next to the town of Enterprise. To get more information on this or any of the trails that have been completed on the Trail 360 project, visit Outsiders.Zone and look for a lot more in the next couple of weeks. Now, let's take a look at next week's show. Next week, Rhea and I are teaming up with Casey's Off-Road Recovery, who shows us how to get our toys out of a bind by bringing in some toys of his own. Then, Nick Chase is getting a one-of-a-kind e-bike tour as the folks from Baku take him to experience the wildlife out on Antelope Island. Finally, we are joining the folks from Jorgensen's on their first ride, which is an annual event, but it looks a little different this year. In addition to dirt bikes, the ride now includes side-by-sides. It's a wider variety of trails to allow all kinds of different machines. Now, let's take a look at our contest winner. This week's contest winner was submitted to us on Facebook by David L. Peterson. Congratulations, David. It looks like you're the winner of a Clearly Tough windshield for your rig. Clearly Tough offers the strongest windshields on the market. Visit clearlytough.com for more details. And be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Well, that's all the time we have for our show today, uh, which is a good thing because what do you got there? That's a smash sandwich. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, he's not telling us the ingredients. But I do want to thank Daniel Lindsay for coming out with us today. And of course, like I say, our official tail gunner, Brett Hermanson. Did you have fun? Had a blast. Good you, day. Good. Are you going to like tell a lot of people to come down here? Oh, yeah. I think me and my friends, we're going to come down here again. If, okay, so how do you end the statement? If you don't come down to Escalante, you are missing out there you go <laughs> okay good all right i was waiting for crazy or something like that anyway remember there is adventure around every bend you just got to get out there create your own adventure at your leisure what is that sandwich i've always wanted to say that's got a little bacon on it